All right, welcome back. So in this video, we're gonna walk through the watermarking feature of Synology Drive. Now, I didn't know Synology Drive even had a watermarking feature, but I was browsing YouTube the other day and that wonderful YouTube algorithm served up a video to me, actually by the Synology company themselves on the watermarking feature. So I decided to do a little digging and figure out how it worked for myself since I had a few questions after watching their video. So. We'll jump right in with a bunch of demos and show how it works in a couple different situations. But let me uh, cover a few high level items before we jump in. So the first thing is remember, watermarking is a feature of the Synology Drive application. It is not part of the core Synology shared folder feature set. So you need to be have the Synology Drive app installed and working to get the watermarking feature. Next, watermarking is limited in terms of the number of files, not number of files, but the types of files it supports. So it mostly works with all kinds of different image files and some document types such as PDF and I believe some vector formats, etc. I'll put up the Synology page up here on the screen so you can see the list of file types it supports. But if you're looking for a solution that'll watermark your office documents like your Word files, Excel files, things like that, unfortunately this isn't gonna do the trick. But if you have a lot of images you wanna watermark, uh, this will work pretty well. From what I can tell through my testing, watermarking is mainly driven through the Synology Drive web interface. What I mean is when you're downloading files to the web interface or you're previewing files to the web interface, that's where the watermarking feature really functions. Outside of that, if you're interacting with Synology Drive through like the sync capabilities or directly through the file system, don't see watermarking uh, working there, but we'll dive into some examples there and see what happens. And then of course, Watermarking is also controlled by different access levels and the rights the user has. And we have a, a couple um, scenarios set up with different types of users that we'll walk through as well. That's the quick intro to watermarking. So why don't we just jump in and uh, walk through some examples. I use my Proxmox uh, host to set up a couple VMs to test this on. So I have uh, two VMs set up so just using Ubuntu desktop so we can go back and forth. And I'll, I'll, have, I'll use uh, different admin and uh, user accounts to show the different features of watermarking in different access roles. So let's first dive directly into the Synology DSM, which I have here. I'll make sure I'm all logged in. And let me just show you, I set up a shared folder, so I'm gonna open up FileStation. And you can see I set up this folder called watermark test, and I just dropped a bunch of images into it, which we'll use for our demonstrations. All right, so we have a shared folder set up now let's open up the Synology Drive admin console and take a look at the settings there. So the first thing you need to do is after you open up the Synology Drive admin console, you need to go into advanced features. And if you haven't activated uh, the Synology Drive app, you're gonna need to do that in order to get watermarking working, as well as other advanced features like restricted downloads and remote wipe. So if you, if, so if you have not activated Synology Drive, there'll be a button here to click and it'll take you through a couple acknowledgements with the Synology website. So you can go ahead and do that. Then go over to your team folders and you can see down here, I have my watermark test folder. I have it enabled on Synology Drive and watermarking is currently on, but I'm gonna disable it for now to show you something. So you open up the settings tab, click on security and we will disable watermarking. So now we have a simple test folder with some files in it watermarking is disabled. So what we're gonna do now is let's go over to some of our test VMs and see what this looks like from a client perspective. So I'm gonna go over to Proxmox. I'm gonna to go to the first VM. We're just gonna do this through the console. And so I'll, I'll re-log into the DSM. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna log in using a test account I set up on my Synology that has admin rights and we'll be able to see what the watermark capability looks like uh, when you have admin rights. So, let me do this. And if you watched my last video where I recommended setting up two-factor authentication, I should take my own advice. I do not want to secure my account, thank you. So we're logged in and so let's open up Synology Drive. So this is the web interface and under team folders, you can see the watermark test folder, which I just showed you on the DSM and you can see the files we put in it. So, and you can also see the owner of these files is the account I just logged in with, the admin account. So let's just open up one of these, we'll preview it and you can see what you see. 
no watermarking because watermarking is not enabled. Okay, that's obvious. Now let's jump over to the other VM and log in as an account without admin access. All right, and I have the Synology Drive app open. We'll just refresh this. Here's the watermark test folder and let's open up that same image. There you go, same image. We can go back and forth between them. Looks great. Okay, now let's turn on watermarking. So I'll go back to my NAS interface. Here's the watermark test. We're gonna open up settings, security, enable watermark. Oh, and when you configure the watermark, you can put in a, a basically variables that will be filled in when the watermark is produced that show what well, you get to pick. You can show the user accessing at the access time, etc. So I will just put in the username. You can pick the transparency, colors, and let's make it nice and red so it's obvious. And we will not make it too transparent. Okay, so watermarking is turned on. Now let's go back to one of those VMs. So I'm gonna go back to the VM logged in with a user account. Remember, it doesn't have admin privileges. Uh, we'll open up a different one. Great. So here's our picture. And you can see the account we logged in with, WM user is put as a watermark across this, as would be expected. Now let's go over to where we are logged in as an admin. We'll open up the same photo. And there we go, a watermark. And the account is WM admin as we would expect. Now, the watermark, as you can see in, in preview mode, shows up both when you have admin access or just normal rights. So now let's try downloading these files. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, again, we are on the admin account here. I'm gonna download the same file on the admin account and we'll see if there is a watermark on it. The answer should be no. So we'll open this up. There you go. No watermark on the download. We'll go back to the ad, uh, sorry, this is the user account. We'll select the same file. We'll do a download. And there you go, we downloaded the file, but we are not an admin, so the watermark was added on the download. So I wanted to try something else. So we've kind of shown what happens when you preview and download files through the Synology Drive web UI. Now remember at the beginning I said, it looks like the watermarking feature is mainly driven out of this UI, and my guess is when you're interacting with files here, this is where the watermarks are added. So I wanna try setting up a, a sync client to see what happens in that case. So we're gonna do that here. Now remember, watermarking is still enabled on the folder. So let me jump back to the admin. Actually, it doesn't matter in this case that we're logged into admin because we're gonna set up a sync client. So I have the, I opened up the Synology Drive app. In this case, I've actually configured uh, the sync and it syncs to this folder, but let's just open it up. And you can see we have already synced the same screenshots we saw in the web UI. And if you open these up, that's just literally a screenshot, uh, no watermark. Kind of what you would expect, right? No watermark on that one and no watermark there. Now let's do the same thing on the other VM where we do not have admin access. And just to jump to the conclusion, the answer is no, it does not. And that is worth knowing. So here we have the Synology Drive client. I'm just gonna resync it and reconfigure it so we can see this from scratch and have it download those files again. Here we're logging in with the user account. It 
set up a sync task. We're going to choose the watermark test folder. There we go. So that is done. So that folder has just synchronized these files. So let's take a look at them. No watermark. And no watermark there. But of course, just to be super clear about how this is working, if we go back to the web UI, you get the watermark. And if you download one, so there's the watermark again. So that's something to keep in mind uh, when you're setting this up with whatever set of users you're going to configure it with. If you want to keep watermarking, you want that to be enabled and not allow people to download unwatermarked files without the appropriate access. You shouldn't be using the Synology Drive client and allowing them to sync files to their local machines since that seems to bypass the watermarking capability. So then the question becomes, well, how can you stop that from happening? And you can actually use one of the other features we didn't talk about to enable that. So let me just jump back to the Synology NAS, uh, the core DSM. We'll open up the watermark test folder. We're gonna leave watermarking enabled but we're gonna enable restrict downloads. So enabling this option takes about five minutes to activate. I didn't find that to be true. So we will enable that. So now I'm curious to see how this works with the Synology Drive client. So we'll go back. Here again, we are logged in as WM user. So let's try downloading one of these. And download isn't even an option. So that menu option completely went away. So I can no longer download these. I can preview them and I get the watermark, but I can't download it. Now we'll go back to where we're logged in as an admin, refresh it, and let's just confirm that the download capability is there. And there you go. You can still download these when you're logged in as admin. Now the next thing to try is let's see what happened with the Synology Drive client. And look at that. We didn't even do anything. We left this, this Synology Drive client connected with this sync task set up. And when we enabled restricted downloads uh, over on the Synology DSM, this updated and said, downloading from this folder is restricted so no more syncing but i'd be willing to bet it didn't clean out the folder uh, that was there so let's take a look at that now it removed uh, the link to the folder so i guess you have to know where you put it which isn't terribly hard so here we go yep so i left this uh in my home synology drive folder and these were the files so it looked like when we enabled restricted downloads it stopped syncing but it left the files sitting there on this device. So another thing to keep in mind when you're setting this up, if you had a sync that previously happened, those files are going to be left where they were. They won't be cleaned up. Well, that was a quick introduction to the Synology Drive watermarking and as it turns out, restricted downloads feature. Hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below.